What the hell is this? It's a cast iron ice shaver. So it makes snow cones? Uh, yeah. So where'd you get it? Um, from a garage sale. Yeah, I used to go to garage sales. Now I kind of live in one here, so. <laughs> I had a clue what this was when I saw it, because in my country, we like to make a drink called Halo Halo. <laughs> it's shaved ice with the beans and such. I haven't used it because it looks kind of vintage. There's a little rust on the side, and I don't want to have to get a techno shot. <laughs> so do you know how old it is? I don't, actually. I found one similar online. It was from 1943. It's made okay. in Japan, but it looked just like this. And that would make sense. I would say it's probably 1930s, 1940s, just the way it's built, the cast iron. I mean, for how old it is, man, it's in really good shape. Pretty much, I mean, you would throw a big block of ice in there, slam that down onto it to where it'd hold it. You'd spin this. That little blade would shave the ice, and the shaved ice would come down there, and there you go. All right. You ever hear the term, have a Coke and a smile? Yeah. It's because, you know, sweet, cheap things just make people happy. So, I mean, take something like this, probably cost a penny to make it. And it was a cheap thrill for a kid, for a parent to be able to buy something like that. You know, the same reason people do it today. What are you looking to do with it, man? Um, I want to get rid of it, maybe get a couple plane tickets so I can see my son. I was actually looking at online. There was one made in Japan, just look exactly like this. They were selling that for, uh, Nine, I believe so. Nine hundred? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> you know, man, I could see possibly selling this to somebody who had like a '50s theme diner or something like that. Uh, I don't see being able to get nine hundred out of it. I'll tell you what, I'll give you three hundred bucks. Go four. Three hundred bucks is what I. Can uh, do. what about three fifty? Yeah, man, I'll do 350. Right, huh? Meet me over there, I'll write you. All right. Uh, 350, well, we kind of met in the middle, so that was okay for me. I can't wait to buy that plane ticket so I can see my son.